Well, hello, my YouTube family. Yeah, that's right. You didn't see me yesterday. And boy, do I have a, I have a good excuse. It, it pertains to pop, so I have a good excuse. But let us get started with lips of the day, because there's a lot, obviously, a lot to talk about. So, uh, let me start off with the liner. It is a MAC. Scratched up current. Been through the war, people. Been through the war. Line. And remember the other Dollar Tree lipstick purchase. Well, this is the good one. The other one is La Garbaggio Long Gone. This is LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. And this is in the shade Charmed. Yep. You won't be able to see that, but that's what it's called. Whatever. This is the lipstick side. Lipstick side. There you go. Lovely. Great. Yes, it is, people. That's the lipstick side. There you go. You know, kind of just a one of the mill, kind of a red. Nothing, you know, nothing. Ooh, ah, it's just a it's just a red. That's the lipstick side. This side. Now, this side is the lip gloss side. And it's got, I don't know if you see the shimmers. It's got shimmers galore, honey. These shimmers go all over your face. John Travolta, disco dancing all over. And it has a regular doe foot applicator. And here's the side of the gloss. There you go. And that's the gloss right there. That's it. That on top of that, they give you this. And it smells like cherries, but it doesn't taste like cherries. Ooh, let's not make that mistake. Okay, so that is Charmed. Lipstick Lip Gloss Duo. LA Colors. This one's a keeper. Okay, so let me see. Oh, Lord, what did he do? Oh, Tomcat, Tomcat, Tomcat. Throwing my stuff all over the place. Okay, so I should, I guess I should start with uh, yesterday's situation. Ah, you got to love your parents, people. You have to. You have to love your parents. I come home. I come home. What do I see, or who do I see, sitting on the porch? But my father. Sitting on the porch. Why is he sitting on the porch, I ask myself. I get out of the car. Hey, Pop, what's going on? What you doing, catching some fresh air? He said, I, for, uh, I, I uh, my keys. I'm like, oh. Lord. I said, Pop, how did you leave the house? He said, well, you know I have trouble with the with the SUV, right? I said, oh, the Jeep is giving you problems? So apparently it was giving him a lot of problems ever since, I think, Sunday night. Come to find out that it's not the starter, that it's something else. So the car had to be left overnight at the trip. You know, he called AAA, left the keys left the keys with the triple A guy. I said, but you left your car keys. He said, yeah, but guess what's attached to it? I said, the house keys are attached to your car keys, Pop. So the man, I don't know how many hours that man had been sitting out there waiting for me because I don't know what time he came back. I didn't ask. I just let him in. That's not it, people. Of course, I could have just come upstairs and continued on. Can you help me find the, the, the spare keys? I said, oh, okay, fine. I said, where did you put them? I know you put them somewhere. He has like a spare key for my part of the apartment and spare keys for the house to get in. So, but here's the thing. He's got the spare keys, but he doesn't have he has the spare keys 
inside the house. But if you are locked outside of the house, you cannot get inside the house to get the spare keys. And there's really no place to hide them outside the house. It's not like, you know, we have like a secret place, which is kind of defeats the purpose. Up and down and all around for at least a good almost an hour, which is why I didn't do the video. I know I have a spare. I know I have a spare. I know I have a spare. I said, yeah, I know you have a spare too. And as we were walking out, he said, I remember where they are. They're inside. Well, I'm not going to tell you where they are in case you guys come around my neighborhood. Anyway, he found the spare keys. Not that you would break into my house, but y'all, you never know. I know it's not just my YouTube family watching my YouTube videos, you know. Can't be too careful. So the spare keys were found. After all of that, up and down, tear, literally tearing the house apart. Tearing the house apart. By the time I came upstairs, I was spent. So you know no video was going to be made, right? And that is why I did not make a video yesterday. What? A package came yesterday. And it happens to be my e.l.f. blurring brush. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty, honey. Oh, what? What? Of course, you know I opened it yesterday. I wasn't. You know, look at this beauty. This is beautiful. I haven't used it, obviously. But look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's just. And you would think it's just like the other one that I have, which is washed. But this one is a little tapered. It's, 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 see, it's kind of flat. It's not rounded this way. It's rounded this way. But it's a little tapered. I was hoping that it would be kind of like this way, like the other one. Like I wanted a duplicate of the other one. But this will do just fine because it's still just as dense. And it can do the job the same way the other one can do the job. Tapered or not tapered. So I am thrilled beyond belief with this brush. Cannot wait to use it. Elf. And it says it's called Elf Blurring. Blurring brush. Selfie ready powder blurring brush. Loving it. Yeah, I'm getting all into the brushes, but I'm into these brushes. Like I want a whole bunch of like the same brush. So that's about it with that. Hold on, I got other stuff to tell you. <laughs> oh, Sunday night, honey. Did anybody watch the BET Awards? I watched and I didn't watch and I watched and I didn't watch. But surprisingly enough, because I was watching the BET Awards and there were the swimming, the Olympic swimming trials. You know the Olympics is in August, right? I got to gear myself up. I'm all about the Olympics, okay? Winter and summer. Let me put this away. So, of course, the swimming trials were against the BET Awards, as well as Game of Thrones. Season finale, by the way. So, I watched the majority of the BET Awards. You know I'm too old for this shit. I really am. I'm sorry, I didn't know half, more than half, of these artists with funky ass names that either are the future and past and present. I don't know who these people are. I really, <sighs> but at least the BET Awards knows how to make a tribute to Prince. Okay, they put the Billboard Music Awards to shame with that whole Madonna mess with Stevie Wonder. Oh, that was pitiful. The BET Awards did it right, did it right throughout the show, throughout the show. That part, that was the reason why I wanted to watch the BET Awards. Normally, I would have just skipped it. I don't know these people. I don't know these people. Okay, I, I, I'm all about, you know, artists that I know. Okay, 
And this is a whole new generation. My generation is long gone. My generation of the BET Awards, long gone. Although I don't, I do know who The Weeknd is. It took me a while to figure out that they weren't talking about The Weeknd as in Saturday and Sunday. The Weeknd is actually the name of an artist. Yeah, people, I'm old. So, yeah. Okay, so that took care of that. Um, so, obviously, I didn't watch Game of Thrones. I DVR'd it. DVR'd the Game of Thrones. Watched it yesterday. Oh! Whoever didn't watch it by now, I'm sorry. I am going to be spoiling up a spoiler like nobody's spoiler business. Okay. Now, I don't know if everybody else caught it. I certainly did not catch it. But there is a Game of Thrones YouTube series called After Game of Thrones or something like that. And they talk about each episode. And I, I didn't catch it while I was watching the episode, but I came back to my computer to see what they were saying. Okay. Did anybody catch the fact? that John Stark is not Jon Snow's father. Did anybody catch that? Because I certainly didn't until until I saw the after, you know, after Game of Thrones. What? And my girlfriend on Facebook, Dana. You know Dana. Everybody should know Dana. Dana answers, you know, she posts every now and then. Dana read the books, so she knows all about it, don't you, Dana? Yes, you do. She informed me that all along she knew that Jon Snow is Khaleesi's nephew. I don't know how they're going to wrap this up next season, but, and I don't know how that, like, Jon Snow's mother And I guess Khaleesi's father. I don't know the, the particulars of it. But John Stark is not Jon Snow's father. And what about uh, Cersei's son just dropping himself off the cliff? He just, after he found out that his wife done blown up, he, uh, he threw himself out the window. That part, I, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry because it was just the way he did it. He he stood at the window with his crown on his head and then he walked off, off set, like off the screen. And you just saw like whatever he was looking at. And then he came back without his crown, stepped on the thing and just threw himself off. I mean, he just just let himself go. Like, I have nothing else to live for. He was madly in love with that girl, okay? So, when the mother blew her up, as well as everybody else, well, she blew everybody else up because she was supposed to go on trial. And there was no way in hell she was going to go on trial because I think they were going to kill her. And she knew that they were going to kill her, and she said, I'll be damned if that's going to happen. So, let me just blow everybody up. You know, innocent people be damned. Oh, well. And the mother is so cold now because it was foretold to her when she was younger that all of her children would die. And sure enough, they all did. The, the prince, the, 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 the king, whatever, the one that threw himself off the cliff. Yeah, he was the last one. And she just looked at the body and she was like, okay. So now she's the queen. And she's sitting on the throne. But, um, that's not the end of it, because now Jon Snow has his army, and he has the backing that he needs to go and fight to have his kingdom back. Everybody wants the throne, people. Everybody wants the throne. Khaleesi has her, her army, her ships. She's got her army, her ships. She's got her dragons. She's good for battle. What? Game of Thrones better start tomorrow. <laughs> the, the new season. I'm talking about the new season needs to start like soon. Like, you know, okay. Um, 
You could start on my birthday if you'd like. The week of my birthday. I know I'm going to have to wait until next year. But damn it. Or am I going to have to wait until September? I'm hoping it's September. But you know these things take a year or whatever. So what else do I have to talk about? I wrote everything down, people. Okay, I think I pretty much told you everything. Yeah, BET Awards. New makeup brush. Didn't watch... Uh, Game of Thrones finale on Sunday, but I did watch it yesterday. Uh, I spoke about yesterday's absence with Pops Keys. So, yeah, I think I filled you in on everything. I filled you in on everything. I am going, I'm, I'm having a devil of a time at work because of a particular thing that I have to do. That normally I do every Friday, but something got corrupted in my Word document. And now I can no longer do what I normally did. I have to merge a Excel Excel sheet with Excel addresses. I have addresses in Excel, and they have to be merged with a template letter in Word. And that letter is the letter that I've used for the longest time. Well, it decided to just up and be corrupt now. And trying to uncorrupt it or trying to duplicate it, you have no idea, people. And the letters that I have to do this with are piling up because normally it's an every Friday thing. Well, last Friday, I couldn't do it. Yesterday, I couldn't do it. Letters keep coming at me. Today, I got more letters. And I still didn't finish doing the first batch of letters. And now I've got more letters coming at me. And every time I ask somebody, do you know anything about Excel? Do you know? Nobody. And the one person, Mr. Intelligent, who knows everything about Excel, I emailed him and he said, I'm working from home this week. I'm like, oh, God, help me. And he goes, tell me what you need to, to tell, tell me what it is that you need to do. So I emailed him everything. I cut and paste and showed him and everything. He goes, I can't, I can't fix it for you unless I'm there and I'm out all week. I was like, oh. So I have to try to find somebody else. And I think the only per other person, I'm praying to Jesus, that can help me is the other IT guy. Not the one that has bad timing when he wants to talk to me, but the, the other guy that he works with. He's good at Excel as well. Of course, he wasn't in the office today, along with the other IT guy. They had some kind of project outside of the office to do. So tomorrow, I'm praying to Jesus that he can come and help me. And uh, somebody's got to help me with this. Like, seriously, somebody's got to help me with this. The person who created the template letter no longer works with the company, so he can't help me with it at all. And you know, Ms. Scanner, it's part of her project that has to do with these letters. And, she, and I emailed her to see if she could help me out, and she said she can. I know people, I know. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. Oh, can I tell you? Okay, you see this? You see this loveliness? It's lovely, but it's shimmery as all hell. And along with the shimmers of the lip gloss or the shimmers of the highlighter, no wonder it's like, you know, Saturday Night Fever disco all over my face. The highlighter is from the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant. And it is this shade, this one right here. You see why? Because it looks like it's a rose goldy shade. This one right up in here. I mean, they're all gorgeous. Look at them. But shimmery is all hell. Oh my God! Look, I mean, you can see the boxes. Look at the box. It's all shimmered to hell. Gorgeous. I love just looking at them. I just love looking at them. 
but that's this right here. But damn, the, the, it, the glitters. The, it's not really a shimmer. I wish it was a shimmer, but they're glitters. They're chunks of glitter. And that's the downside about it, which is why I don't reach for it too often. But it went with the blush, which is this. My Iman blush. There it is. It's in Posh. The name of the color is Posh. And this is what, there it is. See, it's got shimmers in it too. I, I tell you, John Travolta Saturday Night Fever, honey, all up in my face. I am discoed up to the waz, disco bald up to the waz. But hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But damn, you can see, you can spot them shimmers. See? Hello, hello. And yeah, I even put some on my eyeshadow. As eyeshadow, I put some of the highlighter as, as a little bit of eyeshadow. So glitter up on the eyes too. I just felt that way today. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. Don't get it twisted. It's not like I hate this thing. But light hand, people. Light, light hand. I do love it so. Baked, illuminating, and bronzing palette. I don't know how you can bronze yourself with this, but definitely highlight. Definitely great for highlight. Especially when it's normally 16 something and I got it for like $8.50. Amazon, honey. Okay, so that is that. With that upon that. That is it. That is all. That's all I have for you. Today is Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Only Tuesday. I feel like I've already done a whole week. It's the, the week is dragging because there's a three-day weekend ahead. And the three-day weekend consists of July 4th, which is the Monday off. And um, guess who's got his vet visit on July 4th? Won't that be something? 12 p.m. Which means I have to scruff him at around 10, 10 30. At least try. Nothing's wrong with him, it's just his annual visit. Should have been sometime this month, because this is his it's his birthday month. I usually do it, I try to do it during his birthday month. I just I couldn't. Plus there's a whole money issue thing. But since I'm getting paid on Thursday, I'll hold off the money until next Monday. So that's it, people. I'll let you know how that madness goes. But you won't see me that day. I don't think I'll be doing the video that day. Unless there's something to really discuss. But, you know, hopefully, I know he's going to be crying and whimpering. and <sighs> It's the scruffing. I can't. It just kills me every time I have to do it. And even though I know the scruffing doesn't really hurt him, Pain, it doesn't pain him. It pains me. If I do it right, it doesn't pain him. But it pains me to do it. And listening to him scratch and fight and cry. and I just want it to be over already. But, you know, I've, I've procrastinated long enough. It's got to be done. Plus, he's scooting, and I need to figure out what the hell that's about. So, if anything... That's definitely got to be checked out. Okay, other than that, you know, thankfully he's in good spirits and I'm in good spirits. So, knock on wood on that one. Okay, yes, the um, the want for the... That's not the stuff, yeah. The want for the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Still strong, people. Still strong. It may be a birthday purchase. I'm not sure. What the hell? I think I got it this time. Like a piece of hair. Probably is. So, yeah. So, don't be surprised um, once my packages start to arrive that that's one of them. Okay? Because, and I keep looking at my other, other you know, 
liquid foundations. And I'm like, you don't need another liquid foundation, Nancy. You honest to God, don't need, especially since it's the summertime. So what you're going to do, you're going to buy the, the Pro Glow and you're just going to sit, it's just going to sit there because you're using powders right now. Now, if they made a Pro Glow in powder form, I wonder if they have a powder foundation that gives you a subtle glow like a liquid foundation. Is there such a thing? I know there are hydrating powders, which you know I was all about that at once upon a time. But now, can we find a powder foundation that gives off a glow like a liquid foundation? It would probably have to be a cream to powder. But is there a cream to powder that can give you a glow? Boy, is that going to be some research. But if any of you know of anything that comes close, do let me know. Because uh, I've, when I started into the whole cream to powder thing, that was before I hit the liquid foundations. This was when I was in my teens. I had experimented with a, another girlfriend of mine in high school. And we were experimenting about this whole cream to powder thing. And we would, oh, it, it, yeah, <laughs> just long-winded. It's just a long-winded story. We would go to the Walgreens or the Woolworths. Remember that store? I know some of y'all are too young to damn even know what a Woolworths is. Woolworths was a, a Walgreens when Woolworths was open. So we would go to the Woolworths. I even feel ancient saying it. We went to the Woolworths and then we would look for our shade. And You know, back then they really didn't have that many shades that came close to our shade. Not as many as they do nowadays. And we would find the cream to powder foundation and then we would either go to her house or come to my house, mostly go to her house and experiment and yeah. Once upon a time, I even bought a Revlon, no, Max Factor. A Max Factor pancake makeup. Remember pancake makeup? No, none of y'all remember pancake makeup. I know maybe some of you who are around my age know pancake makeup. Pancake makeup is really basically what, what studios use for makeup for the actors. But they used to sell regular pancake makeup as like cream foundation makeup. And I found one that was very close to my skin tone. And one morning early, I had got it the Saturday before, but I didn't open it and then I woke up Sunday. I still remember me doing this. It was a Sunday morning, bright and early, around seven or eight o'clock in the morning. I couldn't, I couldn't wait to experiment. I went into the bathroom and I applied it. I must have been 16, 17. And I applied it to my face. And I have to say, Back in my youngin' days, I applied it very well, and I looked stunning, if I may say so, my own damn self. Oh, it, I, I applied it with just the right amount, just the right touch. I, it wasn't too heavy. It was just, and it left with a flawless, like my skin looked like porcelain. Well, of course it didn't until you were 16. Any girl at the age of 16 has beautiful, beautiful skin. I would imagine. Young skin. It's youthful. And it was youthful and it was radiant. And, oh, I couldn't stop staring at myself. I don't know what the hell I did with the makeup. After a while, I got bored with it. I tossed it. I was 16, people. I didn't have the love of makeup as I do now. I don't know what happened. Something twisted. YouTube. That's what happened. <laughs> YouTube. I didn't have YouTube when I was 16. Could you could you imagine the amount of makeup I would have had? What? I didn't have YouTube back then. So that's that's really what turned on turned it on YouTube. My love for makeup grew after I got hooked on watching YouTube makeup videos. That's it. That's exactly what happened. But yeah. So I really kind of, um, I guess I always did, I always did love makeup, especially lip glosses. 
but the burning desire for more makeup started when I started watching YouTube videos. The death of me. Okay, enough of that. Okay, and then that, I think that's how I got, got hooked on the whole 16 year old glow after doing what I did with the, the Max Factor pancake makeup. Maybe that's where I got it from. I don't know. In any event, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Damn, I've been working. I've been mouthing off for 30 minutes already. <sighs> Had things to talk about, people. Let me know what you think. Weird. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? Um, I don't know what's on tonight. But, oh, is anybody watching um, Greenleaf with Oprah Winfrey on OWN? Oh, yeah. That's good. It's on Wednesdays. So I'm going to watch it tomorrow. In any event, that's it. That's all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, my loves.